Persona 3 Reload is finally coming to the home stretch, as it's due to land in about a week's time on February 2nd. But in typical AAA fashion, there's not just one version of the game, there are multiple. So if you're still on the fence about what edition to get, I've made this video to help narrow down that decision. It was Dwayne here from Do HQ, let's start. If you do enjoy today's video, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more coverage. I'm very close to 2000 subscribers and I'm hoping to get this before Persona 3 comes out. First and foremost, if you want to just play the newest iteration of Persona 3, you can buy the base game plainly and simply. The standard edition has a recommended retail price of $69.95 USD or $109 Australian dollars. Depending on how keen you are to put down your money for a pre-order, pre-ordering the game will net you some free DLC, which includes the Persona 4 background music set, which allows you to change the battle music in Tartarus to Persona 4's battle music similar to how it worked in Persona 5 Royal. You can grab the game digitally or via disc for console users for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X. In my opinion, if you are looking to get the game a little bit cheaper and you are going to get it for a console, I would recommend waiting until the release date to purchase the game as some retailers will list the game for cheaper. Even just looking around at some of my local Australian retailers, we can find the game listed at $99 and $89. There's a good chance that purchasing one of these day one copies would include the pre-order bonus regardless. Otherwise, if you're looking to play the base game for the absolute cheapest, I would recommend picking up the Microsoft Game Pass for Xbox and PC users, as any Game Pass holder will be able to play this as part of their subscription and you'll have the option to pre-load the game so you can start straight away. Moving on to the next edition is the Digital Deluxe Edition, which retails for $79.95 USD or $122.95 AUD. This, as the name would indicate, is only available on digital storefronts. This edition will include the digital soundtrack, which is rather beefy at 60 songs, and a digital art book as well as the base game and the Persona 4 DLC. In my personal opinion, I would give this edition a miss if you're on a console, as you are limited to listening the music solely on the console. On PC, you do have a little bit more freedom to use the songs accordingly as they will download directly to your PC. After this, we have the Digital Premium Edition, which retails for $99.99 USD and $152.95 AUD. This edition will include everything previously mentioned, but will include all available DLC at launch. The DLC includes the following, the Yasogami High Outfits, the Shujin High Outfits, the Phantom Thieve Outfits, Persona 5 and Royal background music set, Persona 4 Golden Persona set, which includes Izanagi, Kaguya, and Magatsu Izanagi, the Persona 5 Persona set 1, which includes Arsen, Captain Kid, Zoro, Carmen, Gaiman, Joanna, Milady, Robin Hood, and Sondrion, and the Persona 5 Persona set 2, which includes the ultimate personas, Satanael, Satan Taisei, Mercurius, Hecate, Kamu Susanoo, Anat, Astarte, Loki, and Vanities. This edition comes with absolutely everything available for the game in one package. The outfits, personas, and the music are pretty much all fluffy extras if you want to have them. If you're looking to grab the digital art book and soundtrack, but also want a few in-game extras, this would be the way to go. There are plans for these DLC packs to be sold separately, so you can purchase the base game and just get the certain persona set separate if you want this but there's a good chance that this bundle will probably work out cheaper than doing it that way. Lastly, there are also two more editions which are only available physically. These are the Premium Limited Box and the Igus Edition. The Premium Limited Box is only available in Asia where it comes with the game, art book, soundtrack, Persona 4 Golden Costume set, and Persona set, and also features a replica C's armband. The Igus Edition closely resembles the Digital Premium Edition and is available very scarcely in the West. It includes everything that the Digital Premium Edition has, but physically this time, and also includes a scale Igus figure. Now, there isn't any confirmation I could find on what scale this figure is, but it looks to be around a 1 8th scale, similar to the size of a pop-up parade figure. The Premium Limited Box can only be imported from Asia, and the Igus Edition has been extensively sold out in most areas in the West. Aside from these two items having collector's value down the track, in my opinion, there's probably not enough value in here to pay exorbitant scalper pricing. So those who managed to secure one at RRP, good on you. 
but it is a shame that there wasn't any more allocated to fulfill the demand. To summarize, I think the base game still has great value, especially if you're able to get it cheaper physically. I'm personally going to purchase this via Steam, so it joins the remainder of my Persona collection. But that being said, if you have a PC that meets the minimum specs, I would recommend taking advantage of the Game Pass, but be very wary that Reload will likely leave this time next year as Xbox has removed Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5 Royal from Game Pass one year after they were added, meaning that it's very likely that all the Persona games are a one year deal. Do also take care as Persona 3 Reload seems to have broken street date in the US 12 days early. A few Reddit users have taken photos of them holding the game and even showing photos of the disc. So be wary of those potentially spoiling the game in the days to come. Regardless, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully this helped you make your decision on what edition to get or to take advantage of what deals are available. It was Dwayne here from Dewey HQ. I'll see you in the next one.